Alright, well, Saturday afternoon, lovely Saturday afternoon actually. We uh, have been released from Old Man Winter's death grip of minus 20 Celsius temperatures that we've had for the last few days. So now everyone and their dog is out here at the dog park today. I don't have a dog. I like dogs. Yeah, but I, I would consider myself a dog person. I just, I love other people's dogs because I know what they do to backyards and I just don't want to be, you know, it's not my thing. I, I have been happy to help other people out with uh, walking their dogs every now and then. I like it. I like taking a dog for a walk, but I, uh, I don't like the mess that comes with it. So that's my thing. So, but my wife, she really wants a dog. Every time she comes by here, it's like, oh, I want a dog. And she grew up with dogs, so she still talks about her favorite, her favorite dog, which was a Springer Spaniel named Dusty. And there was a couple times here we saw a couple of Springer Spaniels out here, beautiful dogs. And just, uh, but, ah, you know what? No. And I've had to tell the kids no, too, to having dogs over the years. And it's just, it, it is, you know, it's, and, and dog owners, feel free to chime in here, too. You know, it, it is a big responsibility. It is really like having another member of the family. So, because there are a lot of expenses that go along with having a dog. I mean, the, if you want to, I mean, obviously you want to give your dog good food, so feeding your dog good food, well, that's, that is, that the food budget for a dog is basically like another member of the family. So it's not cheap. And then you look at vet bills, and I've heard of some pretty bad horror stories when it came to vet bills. Um, you know, as soon as you bring your dog to the animal hospital, expect to pay 500 bucks, and if something's really wrong, uh, you know, the bill just goes up from there. So it's almost like having a, it, it is it is pretty costly. But I know that from, from being around some dogs when I was younger too, uh, you know, there was a, there was a number of dogs on the, on the, the old family ranch back when I was a kid. Uh, and uh, I remember playing with them. It was great, but they weren't, they weren't our dogs. We weren't taking them home and we weren't cleaning up the mess. And of course, dogs on a ranch, it was like, you don't clean up their mess. <laughs> they just kind of, they just kind of go wherever, I guess. Uh, so, so that was about it. That's all I, I wanted to say today. I was just walking by the dog park and just kind of thought about, thought about that. What do you all think? Especially dog owners. What do you all think about your dogs? Uh, there's a number of you that I know, I know I've talked to a number of dog owners over the years where they've owned dogs and they say that, you know what, when old buddy goes, uh, that'll be it. I'm not getting another dog because, you know, you know, some of the expenses, traveling with a dog is another thing too. Uh, you're either traveling or you're kenneling and that's another another expense and or hassle so you know there's a lot of things to be involved there so if you uh if you're one of those folks that have got some kids they keep on bugging you all the time about getting a dog then uh you know maybe i don't know maybe show them this video and say no we're not getting a dog because this is why and this guy put his foot down and said no to the kids and a dog too so there you go if you need some ammunition maybe this will help anyways just thought i'd put that one out there just out on a walk on a nice saturday afternoon and thought i'd share that with you share your comments in there and in the meantime also please like and subscribe and talk to you soon take care bye for now